بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ایکسپلور دا ٹاپک کریٹ اے میجر بائی یوزنگ کوئک میجرس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ ماڈل کیلکولیشنز بائی یوزنگ ڈیکس سو ہیئر آئی ایم ان سائڈ دا پاور بی آئی ڈیسک ٹاپ انوائرمنٹ اینڈ ان سائڈ دا رپورٹ ویو وچ از دس ویو یو کین سی دیٹ just alongside the new measure the new measure icon inside the calculations area you have this icon which says quick measure so what is a quick measure so quick measure is a ui interface through which you can compute or calculate measures and you do not have to effectively write any data so let's explore what are the options available inside this particular option so before i even click on this particular icon if i just hover my mouse or put my mouse on this icon it says choose from a list of common calculations and add the results to the selected table so let me just click on this and this opens up the quick measure window on the screen and here you see that there are two main options one is the calculations and the other one is suggestions with the co-pilot so we are going to explore the suggestions with co-pilot once we are talking about the q a visual but right now it says that select a calculation to create a measure or describe the measure you need and we will generate suggestions in dax which you can customize later so what is actually what it, what this actually does is that it gives you a list of calculations within certain categories that can be generated without you actually writing the dax so i am not going to actually go and uh, uh, explore all the topics here but let's just do a year to date total that we have already done for the for the cost and for the quantity so let's just click on the year to date total here so you are going to get two options and it is just important to understand the two options one is the base value you are going to get the base value for all the quick measure options that you select from here and the other option is going to change so here this is the date but in some cases you might get a filter or you might get something else so important thing to understand here is that what is this base value so just if you click on this uh, i icon here it says the value The, the value whose total you want so always remember that in the base value you are going to put a quantitative column or you are going to put a measure that is already there that uh, that you have computed using the dax so this would always have some kind of a quantitative entity on which some calculation can be performed then for this particular case we have the date here so here it says the date field over which to calculate the total so here because we already have a date table so this is going to be the date column uh, inside of our date table so now let's try and uh, and try to compute the year to date total so first i'm going to select the base value here and the base value is going to be my total cost so i have already computed total cost uh using one of the dax measures that we computed earlier then i am going to click on date and here in the date i am going to select the date column of my uh of my calendar table or my dates table so as soon as you put these two values here it says that you can now have the option to add this so let me just click here on add and after a few seconds there is going to be some measure or a quick measure that has been generated so here you can see that this is the measure that has been generated and here it has used the total ytd function so we have already had a look at the total ytd function and exactly the same measure we have already created using our own dax so we can now just pull this total cost ytd into the column and we can just create a visualization based on this so now i'm not going to do that so the point is that this functionality of quick measure allows you to create dax without having to write dax but for the dp for the sorry for the pl300 exam this is just a, a feature that that is there and the important thing to remember here is that you should know what is this base value what is this filter option in fact let me just show you the filter option before 
uh, we actually conclude this video so here we have this these filters so let's uh, say we select the filtered value so here you have this field which is the filter field so here the filter is going to be most likely a column that is going to be a categorical column so it says the filter you want to apply so we have already seen that the filters we normally take from the dimensions they are mostly categorical columns so all you need to know is that what is this quick measure field what is a base value what should you put in a base value what should you put in a filter and might be you get some a question that that just asks you but in terms of using this in a practical manner i would highly recommend that you should go ahead and generate your own dax instead of just relying on the quick measure because knowing dax is very important and you if you don't do not understand the basic concept of dax like row context filter context and other things that we have seen then it becomes really difficult for you to create complex calculations as you learn more and more about power bi and you want to do a higher level analysis so for this video we have just limited our scope to the quick measure feature inside of power bi desktop so just remember that you uh, you should know what are the different options available inside and that's it for this particular video we have tried to cover so probably this is going to be the last video on the dax we are going to touch upon some of the other topics in the other videos also but this was comprehensively the end of the uh, that uh, the section that dealt with dax we have tried to cover a lot of things related to dax so try and uh, spend some time learning dax and uh, if you are understand dax then probably the simplest questions uh, that you are going to find on the pl300 exam are going to be related to dax and you just need to pick a function or you just need to select one of the options so it's very easy if you just go through this section and uh, spend some time practicing the dax so that's all for this video and i will catch up with you in the next one